don't even know how to really start this. I think we should have a chat, hey? About like what's going on and why I haven't been vlogging and uh, what the future looks like for me in vlogging. Since being back in Cape Town, I have done a lot of thinking and sitting and waiting and wishing. Insert Jack Johnson here. Maybe I should have thought this through before I started actually recording, but I feel like maybe it's better to just have a stream of consciousness with this kind of stuff because I don't really have any idea where I'm going in life anyway, so why not just share it with you guys in this form? I'm gonna be quite honest in saying that I have fallen out of love with vlogging. That's taken a few days for me to come to terms with. It's also taken me a lot of time to voice outwardly because I had been feeling it, but I didn't really want to say it. So today is a trial run. I am finding out if I, I know I can still vlog. I know I'm capable of it. I know I have the tools to do it. I just want to see if it's something that I really enjoy doing still, or if it's just something that I need to let go of in my life. Um, I know this will probably come as a shock and it'll probably seem like, what do you mean? Like you were just daily vlogging, but then you started like vlogging like every couple days and then you just stopped altogether. And I sincerely apologize for that. Like I kind of just disappeared and I feel like because I'm in a different country I can disappear because I really have no obligations really don't know what I'm doing with my life so this is seems like the perfect time to just let go of vlogging I guess but that being said I do not want this to be a terrible sad vlog it's going to be a really good day Dean is coming to pick me up now and we are headed to see Jeremy Loops at Kristen Bosch tonight so that is exciting um, I've never seen Jeremy outside of New York City which seems very bizarre because I've been to Cape Town three times and he's from Cape Town and you know all that jazz so I've gotten myself ready now I also like hadn't been wearing makeup for about mm, I don't know now probably like a month because of the like eye infection and everything so I was like not in the mood to wear makeup after a while because I was like wow it's so much easier to just be like makeup free every single day but you know now I put on makeup on my face so that I look um, a bit more alive and presentable that's something anyway I think that today will be a nice experience who knows? I am giving this to myself as a kind of test day. If I decide to film this all and put it all online, great. If I decide that I'm just gonna film it and then never do anything with the footage, also great. Anyway, it's almost about 4 p.m. here. Concert starts at 5.30, I do believe. So we're gonna head out soon. Uh, I have made myself some coffee because I need coffee to survive here and every day, but cheers. So Dean has picked me up. We're looking for parking now because uh, it's... Oh, is, that, uh, is that a taxi? Is that taxi move? Yeah, the show is sold out, which means everybody and their mother is here, literally. Classic Dean, forgetting everything in the car. <laughs> Forgot his phone this time, not the swing. So he's running back. Classic, classic. So we found parking and we're now walking to the venue. Oh, cool. So yeah, you should go check out Dean's shirt because it's sick and it's on his website. Stoked out of 10. Come check it out. The best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't want to get knocked over. Please don't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I will leave the link to his website down below so you can go buy these shirts. He only has 16 of them, but I'm going to get but one. I'm going to get more in stock if, okay. you, if you want to order because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more, more than 16 orders. So. Yeah, but 16 is like a safe out. bet, you know? Yeah. And then well, you can I only go ordered 20 uh, to follow. I was like, yeah. are people going to buy this? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just follow the 20. Yeah. But, but it's like, looking good so far. Yeah. Sweet. Stoked out of 10, man. Casually got like 6,000 people looking at us right now. Yeah, this is my concert? I forgot to tell you. Um, no, this is sick. There's so many people. It's gonna be so good. We're also standing up front so then we can stand at the front of the stage because Dean says people do that, but like nobody's here right now. Yeah, I will show you guys the crowd now because it's insane. So many people here. So many people that love her here, which is like the coolest thing. I feel so great. Look at that crowd. Holy crap. Insane. So many people. Can't even handle it. We found the perfect spot. I can see everything. They said we can't stand in the walkway, but like there's literally no way to sit. So. Right. Like, do you see a place to sit? Except for here. But this is a walkway. So, cool, man. We'll just stand until... Like, people are flooding there now, yeah? Should we do it? We're going to the fangirl section. <laughs>
Forget about all the people next to you and uh, think about the people that you love and just sing the song with me. The stakes will hide from the storm. The stakes will load from the storm. You came along when you came around, but I made no sound. But you didn't mind But you were always on your own And you freed my mind But you were later When you came around But I made no sound When I asked to see you But just wanted to tell you That I'm where I'm fine I don't lose my mind Anymore Whoa.
the Ben Brown meet and greet. <laughs> like, it's just, everybody just swarmed around Ben. La la la. <laughs> Literally, they're just lining up one by one. This is so amazing, it's so cute. I love it. So we're looking for the tree canopy walkway. We think we found it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get locked in here forever. This is so dark and scary. Does this lead to the parking lot? <laughs> cool, 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 cool. This is so nice. Why don't we do this during the day? Oh, there's people up there. See, we're not the only ones who had this idea. This is so cool. This is sick. <laughs> this is so good. So we're at Pizza Hut, um, which I've never been to Pizza Hut in my life. So this is an experience because apparently nobody in South Africa even knew that it was here. Good job, Pizza Hut marketing people. Anyway, uh, we shall show you the food when it arrives. Pizza Hut for the first time. Looks like pizza, smells like pizza. Dean got free fries. <laughs> I got free fries after like 20 minutes of waiting. What does it get? It's free. It's free, so it's worth it. Okay, ready? It's not New York pizza, but it's not bad. It needs more tomato sauce. It just tastes like cheese on bread. I'm very, ready. <laughs> it's pizza, so. It's pizza. It's delicious. It's fine. I think Pizza Hut is like its own category of pizza. Okay, bye. <laughs> this is how the night is ending. With Quinn and Elena there in London, and we're sitting here on my couch, <laughs> just chilling. Quinn's getting up and doing something. What's happening? <laughs> you know, every time I think that I'm not sunburned, I end up being sunburned. Isn't that great? Anyway, Dean left a little while ago. I then Skyped with Quinn or FaceTime with Quinn, uh, which you saw a little bit of. Anyway, <laughs> that's been like a daily occurrence because Quinn and I miss each other very much. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have to bed now. It felt really nice going back to vlogging, but I also feel like I didn't talk to the camera much. I just kind of filmed Jeremy and the guys. It was also really cool because I had seen Jeremy three times before in New York. Brooklyn Bowl once, La Poison Rouge the second time, and then Brooklyn Bowl again. So it was nice to see him in his hometown, Cape Town, and just like, 
feel the energy and the love. Also, so many people that I knew were there, which was so nice. Saw Gavin, saw Kyle, saw Ben, literally everybody. Um, talked to Mr. Sock to me at the end, which, I mean, like, thank you to him again, because I don't know if I mentioned this, he's the one that got us the tickets because it was sold out, and then I was like, please help! So, yeah, so that was really awesome. Like, I wouldn't have been able to go without Sokka to me, so thanks very much. Uh, it was just a really cool night all around. I had a really great time. Felt really cool to be surrounded by so many people who just love Cape Town music or music in general, but you know, like seeing the audience in Cape Town as opposed to seeing it in New York was just a really cool experience. So, yeah, I had a really awesome time. I don't know if I said that enough. I am now gonna head off to bed because I've got yoga in the morning, but um, I'll try to film some stuff tomorrow. Don't know what I'm doing besides yoga, but that's the game plan so far. But thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and coming back to the channel even though I haven't been here in a few weeks. So, you know, your views mean a lot and I'm gonna stop getting sappy now. But anyway, I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.